When creating posters for presentations, a common issue that people face when working with images is that the images need to be enlarged. Unfortunately, enlarged images might look good on your screen, but when the poster is printed, they might have jagged edges that distort the image. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly enlarge your image and then upsample it so that the resolution is strong enough to obtain optimal print quality. In today's example, I will be using two kinds of software, Microsoft Publisher to create our poster and Photoshop CC to upsample the image. Both of these programs are available on our media computers located in the plaza level of the Norris Medical Library. Here is a sample poster that I've created in Publisher. Let's assume that the conference requires posters to be 48 inches wide by 36 inches in height. I want to use this royalty-free image of a chart that I downloaded from the web. The image will import in its original size, which is roughly a 2 inch square. We can determine this by dragging the image and measuring it against the ruler that we have in Publisher. I have an area here where I want this image to be placed, but the original is a bit too small. I'm going to stretch it in Publisher just to get an idea of how large I want that image to be. Now that I have an idea of how large I want the image to be, I'm going to again use Publisher's ruler to give me a rough estimate on how large I want that image to be, and it looks like it should be about 8 inches square. When printing images that will be viewed from 2 feet and beyond, you're going to need a resolution that is at least 200 ppi. To change the resolution of the image in Photoshop, go to Image and then Image Size to bring up the Image Size dialog box. Change the unit of measurement to inches and you'll see that the image states that it's 2.8 inches with a pixel per inch resolution of 72. By default, Photoshop CC uses the Preserve Details upsampling algorithm. Let's leave it there and let's upsample the image to 8 inches, 200 pixels per inch. The height and width of the image is automatically constrained and you can see that is so by this link icon between those values. If you would like to see a larger preview, you can do that by grabbing one of the corners of this box and expanding it. While I was doing that, did you notice that the image looked jagged while I was expanding the window? If you go inside the preview box and click and hold the image, the preview shows you the enlarged image using a basic nearest neighbor scaling. Photoshop doesn't have a dedicated toggle button or command to see the difference, so this is currently the only way to be able to see the difference between a basic upscaling versus Photoshop's advanced upsampling algorithms. Preserve Details also includes a noise filter. If we go into another area, we can play around to see what setting works best for our image. At 100%, the filter blurs certain pixels it considers to be image noise, but this can also make some details of the image appear less sharp. I suggest you play around with this slider while previewing sections of your images to see what works best. Let's click OK now that we're happy with these settings and save the image. Next, I'm going to go back into Publisher to import the upsampled image into the area that I wanted it to be. Just for the sake of comparison, let's put both images side by side the upsampled image and the original stretched out image. As you can see, you can't really see much of a difference between the two on the screen, but this changes at printing. To give you an idea of the quality difference when printed, here are the printed copies of the enlarged image at approximately two feet away. You can see the jagged edges in the image that was simply stretched out in Publisher. The resampled image looks smoother and the details are clearer. Upsampling images properly takes a little time and effort, however, it increases your options since you now have the ability to improve the resolution of images and make use of copyright compliant images downloaded from the web.